I myself gave up on this project that promised to give us this project as the Christmas prize for 2023. Up to now, it's still here. So the projects are slow. Let's wait whether they finish them in 2026 or 2027. We shall be waiting as long as God gives us this thing called life. So let's continue to the other part. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications. It's the road to 4,000 subscribers. And I wanna thank you all that have subscribed and those that are supporting me and those that are willing to support me, please keep supporting me. I will also return the favor. Drop a comment of what you want to see next on the channel. I'll be bringing it if it's not so far away. Kampala flyover project. Yes, this road is the one that brings you from the old Entebbe road into the city. We used to use that other part, but nowadays we use this other part here into the city because the other side they are working on a water channel, so we can't use the other side. I'm going to be taking you there. By the way, it has been closed since last year, this water channel, since they started working upon it. It has taken time. I don't really know why. So this way, it takes you back to the old Entebbe Road and this road is called the Queen's Way. It was built during the Queen's visit into Uganda. That's around 26, 26 and it was, we were coming into 2007 when she came in officially. So I'm going to be taking you through. We see what is going on. There is a few updates going on. You see the border border guys, they don't adhere to rules. So the flyover is being used at the moment and you see that truck, it's going to pass up on the flyover. That's where it has gone. Usafi Market, just there, I'm going to be taking you there. And here it comes wide and then it narrows down from around here. It takes us back to the normal traffic flow. So this is how it is around this point. I want to give you each and every point. You see how everything looks like. So meanwhile, give a like to this video as I cross and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the notifications as well. So this video was asked for, those are watermelons, by Cyrus Chisitu. Hopefully you enjoy the video. So they put papers around here. And of course, most of the parts are, at the moment, paved. A few of them haven't been paved. So here we are entering into the city. And down, that is Usafi Market. It is another failed project. Because man, it has been around for some time, but it never gets well. When it's about to be filled, like, you find it too dirty. So, this is the place around here. It's a small place that they've been working upon for all those months. So, we are headed towards the new clock tower. Around here, this is the landing of the flyover as you're heading towards Entebbe. And this way, we are still going. This is the Queensway substation one of those that give electricity to the city let's go and sit there so that is the new clock tower and this is behind the new clock tower there is a church people are praying at the moment it happens to be a sunday and this is how they have piled the soils or they heaped the soil around here they put grasses or they planted some grasses and this other side it takes you back to Mengo and the Usafi sides, the Usafi market sides. So this is the one that used to bring us into, the road that used to bring us into the city from this way to this way. So I'm going to be crossing from around somewhere here with the cars. So the other side, it's a different one. And that is Nachivuwa Blue Primary School. That's where it is. And they're still paving down. Those are the pavers. So they've all, all, already put some guardrails around here. You can see them even opposite. That's how it looks like from above. So this is where the new clock is. And just here, this looks like it's going to be an, a sitting area where people will come sit and enjoy their free time as they watch the traffic go. 
What do you think, guys? Do you think it will be something amazing or not? So let me continue to the other areas. Those cars are exiting the city. The paving work is going on, they are still paving, they have paved the whole of this up to this other side. And that is the road that takes us back to towards the old Entebbe road or towards Entebbe. And I've put guardrails around here, you can see them, to stop the border border guys and other people from joining into this other side where the pedestrians are supposed to be walking from so let's continue to see them these are the guard rings so this is where the other provision for the traffic lights is it's going to be that one over there so they are setting everything and very soon they will be putting up the traffic lights. This is the network that is happening here. So the Guardrails are stopping there for the meantime. Let's go check out the other parts in Zambia and Mukwano part. There is a provision for street lights, and we are going to be going to the other side where the street lights are around the underpass that's where the street lights are so i'm stopping somewhere here so i can turn from around here so this one is trying to cross and it's not allowed to cross from there he has gone if he's got by the security they will put him in for some minutes. So this place is super dangerous. Crossing from right somewhere here. Because now these cars are going onto the flyover. And then there are cars that are coming from the flyover side. That's why it is super dangerous to cross at the moment. So I'm going to cross from somewhere here because I see some space. And I've put up this big, how can I call them, direction sign posts or direction posts, whatever they are. around here this is where the lay rate is a single line that crosses the road around here to the side of the station the station is this other side this is the only station in the city it is one it is this other side so they're going to be putting up security lights like you can see already the other side they have put that one there is that one as well, then this one as well. So this side they are going to be putting security lights. So we have left the other small guardrails to these big ones. So here we have the big ones. They run from here downwards. And of course we are running downwards Mukwano. Zambia is up there. If time is enough we shall also be going up there and see how it looks like because we see up already has several traffic lights 
can see them. No traffic lights, street lights. So meaning at night, it's crazy. you get a perfect shot of the city have already started sticking their, their papers or pieces of paper on the on the poles. I think they are not yet lighting. I'm not sure because I've not been here. I've not used this road recently at night. But if they are lighting, these people should at least be deal, dealt with. Why would you? Why would you? So they put them there announcing jobs but sometimes these jobs don't exist that's where they also earn from how they earn from from you is they put it up when you call them and reach their office they say we need connecting fees they be like we need some let me say some six dollars or ten dollars so you give them ten dollars after giving them the ten dollars they be like we shall talk to, we shall call you next time the next time they don't call you, it's you who brings yourself and when you come, they tell you, wait, 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 so until you give up. That's how they always take you until you give up by yourself. So they should as well be dealt with. So this side of the Mkwano road has got street lights already, you can see them there. And when I also turn this way, you can see them over here. So meaning it's going to be always lit and we are just waiting for these to grow up. Only that yesterday, Hamish Chugund was complaining. I remember all this place they had put royal palms. So I think these are some of the royal palms they uprooted. So Mr. Chigundu was complaining. He is the one who donated over 10,000 palm trees to the city. So yesterday they were, he posted a video of them uprooting these palm trees and he expressed his dissatisfaction with the city authorities. So this one is the Marriott project. The Marriott project is also taking shape and they're of course putting glasses and they already, I think they're doing finishing, that's all I can call it. Let me continue downwards, take you to the other parts. So all these, I think all these are going to be paving this area. There are more pavers around here, so they're going to be paving this area, and this one as well is down here. So that is the road that takes you to Chivuli, Chivuli Hospital, 
those sides. So the project is getting better every other day. Just slowly, slowly, it will get there. So here you're supposed to cross through, go to the other side as you continue to Mukwano Road and let me take you to the other side towards the, um, the Arena Mall. So this place is done, only that they put this soil to, f sorry, the sand to fit in those gaps to make sure that they stay in position. Some people don't want to stress themselves with the, the stairs. They just pass down and then continue. But it is risky. It's better you use up the bridges. Now you see, she's stuck there. So these are the guards. I've not talked about the guards, but uh, as well the guards here. So here they're going to be putting the ones that are small like the other ones, not the big ones. They're the ones that are going to be putting just right here. So this is the view you get from Arena Mall. This is the, the, the first floor. And that's how it looks like. I am along Gawa Road and that is the Marriott Hotel coming up over there and I'm going to be taking this route this other side this is where Ansambia Hospital is and they are also working here so this is where the project ends around here and let's follow it and see what they have done recently so remember to like this video subscribe to the channel Turn on the notifications. So that is the road that takes you to the Ensambia estate, that other side. And that is the time. So we are going to be crossing from here. It can be called the, the Gaba Kansanga Road, it can as well be called the Munyonyo Road because it takes you to the rich neighborhoods of Munyonyo. And here we have the Nsambia School, I think it is a girls school and then also the hospital. They are all Catholic owned. It is called St. Francis Hospital in Nsambia. So let's move downwards. I see there is something right here. According to rumors, where you see that it's a tent, can I call it a tent here? Yeah. They say there is another shopping mall that is supposed to come up there by a one tycoon called, I'm forgetting him, Drake Lubega, the owner of Elite School and Teve. He owns the company that makes polythene bags, Jesco paper bags. Also, the Jesco buildings in Kampala and yeah, the Translink, those are some of his buildings. So, they're saying he's going to be building a huge mall right there, but I see the structure that is coming up is not a mall and it is a temporary one. Sambia sharing hall. 
and on Sundays it's always Congolese that pray from there. The Congolese born again, the ones that pray from there, they convene and pray from there. Because these neighborhoods have a huge concentration of the Congolese community. This is the Nsambia Kevina Road. This one here. That's where it takes. Too many signs, signposts. There is the other one behind and then this one. They are all pointing to the same road. So I need to be extra careful while crossing here. So this was one of the police posts that used to be busy around here. This one used to be extremely busy. Well, in fact, it wasn't a post at first. It was a real police without this kind of structure. But later it was demolished. And now this one, when the former police boss, Ochola, abolished these other small, small police posts because they were leading police into lots of expenditure this one also did not survive and by the way we have a new IGP So the arena mall today is extremely busy because it happens to be ED day and a lot of people are out. They came for feasts, so people are feasting. That simply means the restaurants, there are several restaurants like Middle East, the Pasho, there is Frango, there is Cafe Seri. So all those ones are busy today. And the people there have been there, passed by. There is a lot of people. Shibuli Mulago Nakawa, this other side. Mengo City Center Chibuya, you go the other side. 